hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you guys how to make a sex species spiral skirt if you have any confusion anywhere let me know in the comment section below if you have videos you would like me to make for you guys also let me know in the comment section below guys if you want to know how i made this beautiful gorgeous skirt please don't go anywhere keep watching this video is going to be very very detailed and you might just want to watch it to the end so guys our pattern paper is laid on the table already the waist measurement is 30 the hip is 40 i'm going to take the one with the higher number which is the hip measurement all right guys this is going to be a six pieces skirt i'm going to add six to 40 which is going to give us 46 and i'm going to divide that by six all right so that is going to give us 7.7 .7 inches i'm going to fold my tape to get the midpoint of 7.7 .7 inches so that's going to give us 3.9 i'm going to place that on the pattern paper and mark 3.9 So I'll gently connect the dots that are marked. Now, now that I have this, I'm going to start marking the necessary measurements. My waist is 30 inches. I'm going to add 6 inches to that, which is going to give us 36. I'm going to divide um, that by six and what that is going to give us is six so this is our six inch mark i'm going to fold this to get the midpoint of six inches and then the midpoint is three so i'm going to mark three on both sides of the straight line that i drew here to get my hip line i'm going to come down from the waist by eight inches And then this is going to be our hip line. So our hip is 7.7. I'm going to divide this by 2, which is 3.9. I'm going to mark 3.9 on both sides of the straight line here. So at this point, I'm going to um, connect from my waist to my hip line. I'm going to use a hip curve to do that or whichever curve you have. So I'm using this curve right here to connect from my waist to my hip. I'm also going to turn it this to the other side and connect from my waist to my hip. So my knee length is 17. I'm going to mark 17 from my waist. So this is going to be our knee line. I'm going to transfer the hip measurement all the way to the knee line. So the hip is 3.9 on both sides. So I'm going to mark 3.9 on both sides till I get to the knee line. So there's no point drawing a straight line at this angle because this is already at the extreme, okay? So coming over to my hip line, I'm going to come down by 2.5 inches. I like to do this a lot so that when I'm curving in around the knee area to the hip, it won't affect the actual hip size all right so i usually come down by either 2.5 or 3 inches so at this knee area i'm going to come in by half inch i'll do that on both sides so i'm going to draw a slight curve from my knee area all the way to the point where i came down by 2.5 i'll do that on both sides all right guys so we're going to start the form part so from the waistline, I'm going to measure 32 inches.
So from this extreme, I'm going to measure 26 inches. So what I'm going to do is to try to connect from this point where we have our knee line to the 22 inch point and then I'm going to curve all the way to the 26 inch point. I'm slightly going to do a you know a rough sketch before I draw the actual line. Now I'm also going to try to, you know, draw a rough sketch from this point to this point. You actually need to use your discretion to do this. So I'll quickly emphasize on the line that I marked, the rough sketch that I did. I'm going to emphasize on that line so that you guys will see it clearly and have a better picture of what we are doing. So guys, we have a curve. All right, this is for this part. Okay, for this other side, I'm also going to create a curve. Our hip measurement is 7.7. .7. Around this point where I marked out at 2 inch, I'm going to reduce it to 6.5. All right? You can just be reducing by one inch so we have 7.7 .7. we can reduce one inch and leave it at 6.7 it all depends on what you want to do but what you should know is that it's not going to be as big as what you had previously so while the line goes this way the number decreases you're going to see more of it This is not actually a perfect curve. I'm trying hard to see if I can create a perfect curve, but never mind. It's not going to affect your skirts, right? So at this point, again, I'm also going to reduce it. I am going to make it 5.5 here. Like I said before, the trick to making those beautiful skirts is to continuously reduce the numbers as you go. So you're going to see more of it, but just make sure that what you're reducing by is one inch and you're good to go, alright? So this is going to form a spiral, alright? Now, um, for this to work well, I am going to measure what we did before. The first time, what I measured was 25.5, and at this point, I'm going to measure 25.5. So like what we've been doing before, I'm going to look for ways to connect this from this new point to the old point. So like I told you before, you need to always do a free sketch and see if it rhymes well. If it does, then you can, you know, emphasize more on the line. If it doesn't, you can clean it off. So you need a pencil and an eraser to do this don't use a marker if you're a newbie so i'm also going to connect it from this point all the way down here and i want you to know that whatever i'm doing i'm not going to allow it to touch the you know this initial line so i'm going to give about a quarter inch gap from the initial line Alright guys, remember here we did 5.5, at this point we are going to reduce it to 4.5. 
like always i'm also going to connect the points I'll do the same thing on this other side so guys at this point I'm also going to extend this line all I need to do is to keep drawing a circle until we form the spiral like until we get to the end of the spiral So remember here we did 5.5 here we came down to 4.5 so at this point i'm going to reduce it to 3.5 so this is just a technique if it's coming down it will keep reducing the number So at this point, I'm going to reduce this to 2.5. So what you're going to notice is that the more you come in, the more the number decreases. This doesn't have to be a perfect circle this pattern looks rough right now but don't worry when i'm going to curl it's going to make it right this point is 2.5 i'm going to make here 2.52 So I'm going to make here 1.5 so I'm going to do this until we have nothing left to do so guys this is a spiral let's do a quick quick cap on what we've done so far from this point to here is 8 inches so from this waistline to this point is the knee line so from that knee line I started my curve so the distance between this point and this point is 25.5 and then the distance between here and here is 25.5 so once you get those points marked you're going to start forming a spiral so i'm gently going to cut you have to be careful cutting that so you make sure that you don't cut um, where you're not supposed to cut all the necessary allowances have been added to this our actual waist measurement was 30 inches and i added six inches so that is going to be for the same allowance also remember that this is not going to be in a fold so if you're cutting it you're cutting it on a plain paper you're not going to fold it So guys we're done with this let me quickly adjust our pattern so you see what we have
Look guys, this is the fabric we're going to be using for this project. Our pattern is already set on the fabric. So one point to note, like I said before, is that this is not in fold. So we're not going to cut in fold. So there's no shortcut to this. You're going to continue doing it one by one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out just the way we cut out a pattern. So guys, this is what we have. Our pattern has been cut out. Let me quickly take off our paint so you get a better you know, picture of what it looks like on the fabric proper. So guys, this is like one piece of our pattern. I'm going to use this piece to cut out five other panels. What we need for this project is six panels, alright? So we have one already. I'm going to use this one to cut out um, the other five. Now, one point to note again is that this has to, you know, move in the same direction. So once this is the direction you've chosen, your pattern is going to move in that direction. So guys, I have six panels here. I'm going to take all those ones off and I'm going to show you guys how to join this. So now that I've placed this facing this way, I'm going to match the two right sides together. So I'll go back to the machine and I'll stitch. I'm going to stitch on a half inch seam allowance. I'm going to go ahead and join the third one. I'll also go back to the machine and stitch. Everything has to be in the same direction. All right, so guys, we have our six panels joined. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth one. All right, guys. So if you look at this, the first um, panel we placed, you're going to see that it looks somehow short compared to the other ones. Look at the last panel. Look at the excess. It is so long. Please don't cut this out. You're going to need it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fix my zipper. I'm going to be using an invincible zip for this project. I have a detailed tutorial on how to insert an invincible zipper. I'm going to leave that on the card. I'm going to fix my zipper on a half inch seam allowance our zipper has been fixed so now that this is done i'm going to start stitching i'm going to stitch round until i get to the end of the you know the excess that you can see from the fabric paper. So I'm going to um, sew the last part of this project. And yay guys, this is what we have as skirt is almost ready. Alright guys, you see this down part is full. I love everything about the skirt. The color, the design, um, the maker, everything is just perfect. 
all right guys this is all about it you can decide to fix a lining to your own project i'm not going to be using a lining for this skirt but the lining is not going to be difficult you don't have to cut the lining the way you cut the fabric itself except you have the time to do that so what next i'm going to do is to take this to the overlocker and overlock the entire skirt after that i'm done with that i'll go over to the hem area and hem the skirt and also put a band on the waist of the skirt so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you've not done that already and feel free to ask me any question you have if you have any confusion anywhere just let me know in the comment section below share this with your family and friends and enemies and everybody you want to share this with but until next time i love you all keep crushing it and i'll see you in my next video bye, -bye.